Nine things smart men should not do with women. Vertical bar stoicism. Hey there, stoic enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the timeless wisdom of stoicism and its practical applications in our daily lives. Today's video is a special one as we delve into the realm of relationships and unveil the nine principles that smart men should embrace according to stoic philosophy. So if you're ready to Welcome aboard. Today, we're diving deep into timeless wisdom that can transform your approach to matters of the heart. But before we embark on this insightful journey, make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to tap into the power of stoicism in your relationships. Now, let's venture together as we uncover the nine crucial principles smart men should embrace when it comes to interacting with women all through the lens of stoic wisdom first up safeguard your past while openness is important not every detail needs to be shared let's explore how to strike the perfect balance protect your story your past is a tapestry of experiences both triumphs and trials, woven into the fabric of who you are. But like a treasure chest, not every jewel within needs to be unveiled to the world. In the words of the great philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, old ideas may come back to challenge us. This serves as a poignant reminder of the risks of revealing too much. Instead, let's adopt a mindset of discernment, sharing only what is necessary. Guard the essence of your story, the parts that showcase your resilience and strength. Your life's journey belongs to you alone, a narrative not for others to exploit or judge. Let's explore how to face the challenges of the past with dignity and grace. Embrace solitude, discover wisdom. In the realm of solitude, Aristotle's timeless wisdom rings true. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. So let's confront the fear of being alone head-on. Decisions made in the shadow of fear, particularly the fear of solitude, often lead us down misguided paths. But being alone doesn't necessarily mean being lonely. Take time to revel in your own company, for it is in solitude that we often find our deepest insights and reflections. And when you do choose to share your time with someone, let it be because they enrich your life not because you fear being without them. Let's explore how to wisely navigate the dance between solitude and companionship. Master your time, reclaim your life. Seneca's poignant observation cuts to the heart of the matter. It's not that our lives are short, but that we waste too much of it. So let's take ownership of our time, for it is a precious commodity that belongs to us, not to others. Strike a harmonious balance and allocate your time wisely to activities that nourish your soul and foster personal growth. Don't let it slip away into the void by fixating excessively on someone else. Furthermore, celebrate your victories. Epicurus' wisdom reminds us that self-admiration is just as important as seeking admiration from others. So, take a moment to acknowledge and celebrate your achievements no matter how small. Each step forward is a triumph worth honoring. Remember, safeguarding your mental health is paramount. Let's explore strategies to nurture our minds and cultivate resilience in the face of life's challenges. Cherish your mental well-being. Sacrificing your mental health for the sake of someone else is akin to setting fire to your own home to keep them warm. It's harmful and nonsensical. Your happiness and mental peace should never be bartered away. Take back control and fiercely protect your peace. Strengthen your mental fortitude and refuse to let anyone dim your inner light. Your joy is yours to safeguard and your mental health is non-negotiable. Let's explore strategies to stay true to ourselves and nurture our mental resilience amidst life's challenges. Embrace your authenticity. Albert Chu's wisdom echoes the Stoic principle of staying true to oneself. Just as Stoics advocated for living in accordance with nature, Chu advises against fretting over others' opinions. 
saying yes to things that don't align with your values is akin to suffocating under a mask of conformity. Learn to say no and embrace authenticity in every aspect of your life. Your actions shouldn't be driven by the desire to please others. Instead, prioritize being genuine and honest with yourself. After all, you are the protagonist of your own story, not a supporting character in someone else's narrative. Let's explore the liberating power of staying true to your path and refusing to sacrifice your authenticity for the sake of others. Resist the urge to conform. Molding your life solely to fit someone else's expectations is like forcing your feet into shoes that are too tight, painful and unnecessary. Each step taken in pursuit of conformity distances you from your true path, blurring your vision of your own aspirations. Embrace your uniqueness, proudly display your colors and refuse to compromise your journey for the sake of others. Walk your path confidently, for your life is meant to be an authentic reflection of your dreams and desires. Next, prioritize relationships with friends and family. Plato's analogy, likening people to soil that can either nurture growth or hinder it, underscores the importance of maintaining strong connections. Don't push away those who have always supported you in pursuit of someone else's approval. Reconnect with those who form the solid foundation of your support system, valuing their instrumental role in your growth. Lastly, steer clear of obsessive devotion. Break free from obsessive devotion. Marcus Aurelius wisely cautioned against the perils of obsessive devotion as it disrupts your balance and blinds you to your own inherent worth. Much like a satellite endlessly orbiting another, Fixating too much on someone else causes your dreams and uniqueness to fade into the background. It's time to reclaim control of your life. Stop living in the shadows by someone else's rules and start shining like your own sun. Remember, your life is not a supporting role in someone else's narrative. You are the star of your own story. Thank you for embarking on this journey into the realm of Stoicism where wisdom illuminates the path to self-discovery. Closing words. In the realm of relationships, embracing stoic principles isn't about adhering to gender-specific rules. It's about cultivating a mindset that transcends the challenges we encounter in all aspects of life. As we've delved into the nine things smart men should not do with women, through the lens of stoicism, we hope you've gleaned valuable insights on navigating relationships with mindfulness and virtue. By applying these timeless principles, may you forge connections rooted in understanding, respect and mutual growth. If you've enjoyed this exploration of stoicism and relationships, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more enriching content that feeds the mind and nourishes the soul. Feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay wise, stay stoic, and continue your journey toward a life of purpose and tranquility.